Hi Mart here and today I want to show you how to improve the performance of your Krita. Especially if your PC is not that powerful or new. This might help you to, you know, make your painting experience a little bit better. And, you know, to get you more productive, I guess. First thing I want to talk about is just basic layer management. So if you're experiencing some lag with Krita or, you know, uh, it's like not as snappy or like your brushes are very laggy and stuff. The first thing you have to take a look at is how many layers you actually have because that can affect your performance, especially if your PC is not that new or you don't have enough RAM. So uh, just try to, you know, have your amount of layers under control, not like me, you know, I have like usually a lot of layers. This is like not even that many. So uh, try to like tame your layers a bit, you know, have for example like only 10 layers and work with that. If it's still laggy, just cut it down in five layers. It's possible to paint the whole painting in three layers. I don't think you need any more, you know, but, you know, it's more convenient to have more, but I think three is enough for most of the paintings. So, you know, try to tame them a little bit more if you're experiencing any lag in Krita. The second way how to improve performance is to use a smaller canvas. For example, right now, I'm using 6000 times 6000 which is a little bit overkill, you don't need that, I think like for most of the paintings you can go with like 3000 times 3000 and you can go even lower, it depends on your use case, you know, whatever you want to do with it. I like bigger canvases so I can print them out or rescale them or whatever I want to do with them, but you don't need that, you know, you can go a little bit lower and it will improve your performance. Also it like literally tells you here. This document will be 6000 by 6000 pixels, blah, 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 which means pixel size is 32 bits. Single paint layer will just take 137 megabytes or maybe, maybe bytes, but you know, you, if you convert it to megabytes, it will be a little bit higher number, but it doesn't matter. It will take that amount of RAM. So, you know, that's what I was telling you about the layer. If you don't have enough RAM, it will be bad experience. Uh, if you're not really sure how much RAM your painting is taking up, you can like look down here. It will literally tells you how big is your canvas and how much RAM it uses. Usually this number here is a little bit conservative. It's a little bit more than that. Uh, I think for this file it takes like 2.3 gigabytes. So it's like because the number is in gigabit gigabits, it's not in gigabytes. So, you know there's like the conversion plus it's a little bit conservative so like the number will be a little bit higher in your actual like in real world let's say this way so yeah uh you can make it smaller because by making it smaller if i put like 3000 here it's like cut in half you know if i put 3000 here it's literally one quarter so you know making your canna smaller can improve performance a lot so yeah keep that in mind Next thing that will improve your performance in actual painting with brushes. If you have some like bad brush that you can't really use and you don't, you know, you really want to use it, but it's too laggy and you know, it's really uncomfortable to using that. You can just click on the brush that you want to select, click up here and look at spacing, turn auto off and uh, select some spacing around 0.10 anything above 0.10 will be visible like actual visible because if we look at it like this is how 0.10 looks it's pretty okay if i go like 0.25 now you can see that it's like a little bit choppy because the spacing of the brush is a little bit higher so faster you go the more spaces there will be you know so i wouldn't go above 0.10 but you can if you are like having a real bad experience with that or you know the performance is not good enough you can go higher like higher to make it your brush more smooth but yeah that's one of the things okay of course you can like override the brush so it's like saved but you know it's on you <laughs> this one is kind of on you on like how much performance you want to sacrifice for the brush you want to use let's say it this way and now let's go to the settings because we want to like improve 
performance in Krita, right? Till now it was just about you, how you use the Krita to improve your performance. Now it will be about changing the settings in Krita to improve, you know, your experience in it. So let's go to settings, configure your Krita. The first uh, tab you want to open is display. And now if you have integrated graphics or some older graphics, you want to turn canvas graphics acceleration off. If you have a newer graphics, but you're still experiencing some lag, uh, I recommend you to turn the scaling mode down to like bilinear or even nearest neighbor. It will not look as good, but it's not really noticeable. So it depends on you what you want to do, but you, know, you can turn it off completely and it will be fine it will run pretty well on integrated graphics and you know the performance will be better and now we go to per actual performance and now you can change the memory allocation how much memory you will give Krita to use uh, this can help you if you're like working on larger projects and you're running out of frame and you know even though you actually have like for example 16 gigabytes of ram on your computer and but you're like exceeding limits of Krita that usually allocates like 50%, you can extend this a little bit. You know, I have it to like 12 gigabytes and four gigabytes reserved for my system. Usually you want to leave for your system at least, that's like literally at least two gigabytes of memory. You don't want to go below that, like ever. Don't ever go below two gigabytes of memory reserved for a system because otherwise your system will not have enough resources to like function. If you have like something else open, like your browser or anything, you will experience really bad behavior of your system. So don't do that. So uh, set it up the way you want to and then just click OK. And that's all I have here. I think that should pretty improve your, you know, overall experience with Krita and performance, especially if you're using some older system. And with this, thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Mars out. So that was my video. If you liked it, you can leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Or even better, tell me in the comments what should I improve to make it better, I guess. You can also subscribe to my account and also hit the bell icon so you can see when I'm live and when I'm streaming and when I'm uploading new videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one.